Good morning, Bengals. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy Monday. I'm Noah. And I'm Eric. And now for your Bengal Nation News. Good morning. We hope you all know Cameron Price. Our own Alex Hipman and Talia Crosby have some information on this active junior. Cameron walked purposefully around the school looking in classrooms. She carried heaping bags full of cans she had picked up from the classrooms, and when she was done, she went back to 401 and sorted them. Cameron Price, a junior, was a vice chair of the 2016 Holiday Wishes Program at Blythewood High School, which helped families around Christmas time by providing cans and presents to the local families in need. Price was a vital part in organizing and motivating the Holiday Wishes Program, which received a record amount of cans this year. Price stayed after school for long hours working hard to get everything ready for Holiday Wishes. People probably remember her walking around and checking for cans to take back to 401 in her efforts to help others. Price plans on expanding her role in participating in the South Carolina state-level student activities as part of South Carolina student activities. She plans on helping coordinate student relief efforts in fundraising and delivery of goods during December. I'm also trying to play a part in our state's um, student activities and help like statewide and help spread ideas. According to Price, Holiday Wishes is likely to be different next year, and she hopes to be instrumental in this program again. Holiday Wishes is a student-like, community-based project, and the current student activities members choose their own focus for the project. Holiday Wishes, we always find a different way to help out our community, and next year I'm hoping that we can either make it bigger than last year, or find a completely different way to do it. Price recounted how two years ago the student activities group assisted a flood victim in reparations to their household. The student activities group personally went out to the house and worked on it, which is not something most people would do and even more unique for high school. Like we did two years ago by refurnishing an entire house for someone who was a victim of the floods. Junior Savannah Simpson is another member of Student Activities who is also a friend to Cameron. In her opinion, Price lightens up the atmosphere in Student Activities and helps them um, Cameron makes a more positive environment for everybody and definitely relaxes everybody because if, when everybody's stressed and like, ah, she's kind of just like the one that makes a sarcastic comment that makes everybody like, okay, let's, okay, let's chill out and do this. Simpson believes that Price is laid back but still does her work when it is time to do so. What I think of Cameron Price is she's funny, sarcastic, laid back, but at the same time gets her work done, is persistent, and makes sure the job gets done when it needs On the topic of academics, Simpson believes that Price is devoting as much time as she needs to get good grades. Simpson actually believes that Price actually should spend less time on academics and put more into student act. I think she's doing a great job. She's devoting as much time as she needs to, and maybe she should forget a little schoolwork sometimes. Mr. Fletcher Spigner is a teacher in charge of student activities and all that it does. He expects from the same thing from Price as any other student in student activities. Um, any student that I have in here, I expect them to work hard. I expect them to um, have good grades. I expect them to be creative. I expect them to um, take a lot of different perspectives into account. And, um, Cameron can be a little goofy, but, um, but um, she does a good job. Spigner remarks that Price is always upbeat in class. He also said that she can make molehills out of mountains. She is, um, she's fun. She's goofy. She, um, she uh, is, can always be counted on to just, like I said, be um, something to be serious. Spigner does not know the exact amount of time Price spends on student activities. However, he do, he believes that she spends a good amount seen as he sees her effort in every day in class. You have to ask her for a specific amount, but I mean I see her every day. 
Price is going to be a senior next year and hopes to be in charge of holiday wishes and help people in need. Price has many goals in life, some of which include going to college, attending veterinary school, and becoming a veterinarian. Regardless of her future successes, Price will always be the same compassionate, fun-loving person who has helped families in and around life. This is Alexander Hickman reporting for VHS Roar Nation. Great job, Cameron, Alex, and Talia. Are you interested in performing at the Spring Dance Concert? Come audition your choreography on March 27th. See Miska Gandhi in the dance room to sign up for a time slot and pick up your audition forms. Also, no, our audition forms, are you a graduating senior who has taken dance at BHS? Would you like to perform in the Spring Dance Concert with Miss Miss Gandhi? Rehearsals are starting soon, so contact Miss Gandhy by today to sign up. An admissions counselor from UNC Charlotte will be in room 112 at 1, 1 o'clock on Thursday, March 23rd. This is open to any senior who has applied or any junior who is interested in applying next year. See Ms. Mudger to sign up. There are a limited number of yearbooks left. Books are currently $70. Reserve yours today at www.yearbookforever.com or stop by Ms. Wilkins' room in 508 to order yours or if you have any questions. All Spanish students from Ms. Blocker and Mr. Zuluaga attending the Hispanic Flamenco Ballet field trip today. Please report in the atrium at 9, 9 a.m. Thank you. The HBCU College Fair at Benedict College is coming up on March 15th. Juniors and seniors, come by 112 or print the form from your email to register. There is no charge for this field trip. See Ms. Mudger for more information. Also, a counselor from NC Central University will be in 112 at 8.30 a.m. March 16th. Seniors, if, you're, if you apply to NCCU, please make, make um, plans to attend the, the information. Asian session. Juniors are welcome to stop by also to get information. That's all for news. Now for sports. Good morning. I'm Will with your sports. Good luck to the following teams in action today. Golf versus Cardinal Newman at Columbia Country Club, JV and Varsity Girls Soccer at Camden, JV Baseball at River Bluff, and B Team Baseball at home against River Bluff beginning at 6 p.m. Congratulations to both the girls and boys track teams this past weekend at the Chick-fil-A Invitational Track Meet in Greenville. The girls finished first out of 21 teams, while the boys also finished first out of 20 teams. Great job by both teams. Here's a video to recap, or here's a video recapping the weekend produced by Andrew Busby.
Great job, Andrew, and congratulations again to the track teams. There will be a BHS Cheer Interest meeting on Tuesday, March 21st at 4.30 in the Cyber Center. BHS, JV, and Varsity Cheerleader tryouts are April 19th through 21st. Make sure, you get, make sure you're getting prepared for another awesome season. That's all for sports, not a weather and birthdays. What's up guys, I'm Eric with your weather and birthdays. It's currently 31 degrees with cloudy skies. The high for today will be a cool 57 degrees. Expect a cooler day tomorrow with highs reaching 57 degrees in the afternoon. That's all for weather. And now it's happy birthday to those students who celebrated yesterday and are celebrating today. Samuel Derrick, Krista Dupree, Naya Hunt, Bailey Jackson, Jaden Addison, Jalen Boyd, Sophia Goberstein, Philbert Sandoval, Avery Williams, and Amaya Jackson. That's all for today. Have a great day, Bengals.